right. So you make sure there's no aluminum in your deodorant. You make sure that when you buy toothpaste and mouthwash, there's no fluoride. When you get vitamins, you must get whole food vitamins, no additives. We get ours from Andrew Lesman at hsn.com. When you buy those old cheap vitamins that you get at Walmart, that you get at Walgreens, that come all chalky, white, look like a whole bunch of cocaine chopped up, those things are 50 billion times worse for you than anything in the world. You might as not well take them. Let's say it's melatonin. Let's say it's calcium. They put 20% of that, then they rest 80%. It's a bunch of chemicals and manufactured things that they put in plaster, cement, the things that they put in rat poison. This is very real, and it destroys you and it kills you. You must go to organic. Everything, the fruit you eat, the vegetables you eat, go to Whole Foods organic. Okay? See, God did not create the world for our destruction, but the systems of the world are designed for our destruction. There was an entire war against your soul. We all have this, if you are a human being, we all have the same enemy. Satan and his kingdom are against us. And the high people in the government that make the laws, federal, the reserve, and all these big people up there that are being used by the devil, they don't care. These people, these spirits don't care if you die. Just like I said in the Hitler days, they want you to be dumbed down. They don't want you to have knowledge. They don't want you to have wisdom. They want you to live in a blaming mentality, a victim state of mentality, so you won't be free. They want you to stay. But you have access to all knowledge through the internet, through life. And the greatest key you will ever know, the greatest treasure you will ever obtain is by receiving Jesus Christ because then you have stepped into the one true pure light. Nowadays what Satan does in the systems of this world, they take a little bit of good, they mix it with evil, and they feed it to you. Just so as long as you stay on the surface through the media, through the entertainment, through every kind of industry, there's something dark about it. They take every good, good gift of God, every pure thing, and they manipulate it, genetically modify it, they twist it, and then they feed it to you. And it's worse off than when you begin. You sit here because you have lack of knowledge. Now you eat hamburgers. Now you eat donuts. Now you eat chocolate chip cookies. Then you get sicknesses. Then you get disease. Now you're mad at God. Now you're blaming the government. And God said, it ain't my fault. It ain't the government's fault. It's your fault. So you have to learn these things. You have to study. There's things that God said above all I wish you would do. One of them is health. Health is the biggest thing. You could have multi-billion dollars. You could have all the wisdom. You could have all this. But if you ain't in health, it won't mean nothing. Okay? You have to have books too on health. You gotta gain that knowledge. Anti-inflammation diet. You have to have audio books and physical books. There's something about audio books. You just sit there and you just purely obtain and you purely grasp without having to quench your eyes, without having to think with your brain. It's a different level of power when you use audio books. I did the um, doing a what is it called the bulletproof diet. You put butter in your coffee, but anyways, you get books remedies. And then you want a hands-on book that's simple. Not all complicated where the person's telling you their life story, their background. You want to get hands-on straight to the straight to the knowledge, straight to the demonstration of power. Yeah, this is an old book my mom gave me. Juiceman, the power of Juiceman. This guy has his own tonics and he puts his own names upon them. Pear apple cocktail. Two pears, one apple, one fourth of a lemon with a skin. Edible flowers of garnish, optional, crushed ice, optional. Passionate cocktail. And then you take that Picasso said a good artist copies, but a great artist steals. So you take this, then you make your own book, then you make your own video knowledge, then you make your own titles. So it ain't just health, now you're going into a whole other dimension of production, okay? But this guy's hands-on and it's simplified. Zippy Spring Tonic, Waldorf Salad Juice, okay? So you start coming up with these things and you, you combine them and then you put this one and then you, and then you teach, you pass it on. All right, next... I'm a hands-on teach y'all boys how to make women spirits. I'm going to teach y'all how to make hot tea, healthy, good hot tea. I'm also finna buy this book on Amazon. It's from Doreen Virtue. She's always talking about angels. She does angel cards. You look at her success. Look at her website. She sells oils. She's in the oil business. I'm talking about patchouli oil. You know, them oils you smell, frankincense and all that stuff. She's in that business. She does angel cards and all this stuff. Like She cultivated that and the Lord used her. So you look at that. You go on her website. You honor that. You respect that. You sow into her life and you get what she has. And you copy that mentality and the production she doing into your own life, okay? You become more powerful. Now, now you can learn which foods and beverages will boost your natural into intuition abilities and your physical health. All right? How intuition works energetically and psychologically in the chakras and endocrine system, underlying clairsentience, clairvoyance, 
player audience and player whatever. These are things in the brain, spiritual uh, gates and systems in the brain. Exactly what to eat and drink to honor your uniqueness and sharpen your physical senses with recipes, the spiritual applications of specific herbs and nutritional supplements. Okay, there's vibrations in your body. There's systems in your body. There's spiritual gates in your body. And awareness is your connection to them, okay? Your consciousness is awareness. When you're aware of something, you're connected to it. So when you use your health and you do meditation and you work out and you learn how to use your breathing techniques and you're in health and you're aware of this, you begin to connect to all these systems in your body and you begin to activate levels of power. In Jesus' name. Oh, I like you, Cameron. You don't be stopping on a brother. Also, health is... Not just about the food you eat, but you have to extend it to other things and other practices and medicinal things and purposes in your life. Essential oils, vitamin B liquid shot, anointing oil, okay? This is another realm and another era of health. Alright, three things and I'm done. Hallelujah. Anytime you're not afraid to dedicate something to God, anytime you're not afraid to speak Jesus out loud, the kingdom of heaven will reign over you. God himself will be so loud about you, okay? This honey, it has a Bible verse on it. Thy word is sweeter than honey. That man just put the word of God on this product and put God first. You don't say God is first and then talk about him second. You say his first by representing, letting him be the title on your product, letting him be the commander in chief on your spacecraft, letting him be represented in his image first. OK, just like you can get Ezekiel bread at H-E-B or where, wherever your location is, is and Ezekiel, God was telling them how to make bread, how to make the loaf of bread and the exact same thing they did. And they made something called Ezekiel bread. You should get it. Chick-fil-A. That man dedicated his business to, uh, to Jesus Christ. No one works on Sunday. And that is one of the most prosperous, I'm talking about, I've never in my life seen. I went to Chick-fil-A and I've never seen this before. There were two people in the drive-thru and two people on the outside of the drive-thru. I'm talking about that thing, all the chick, when you dedicate one company, all the companies will be blessed to God. The reason why America is one of the blessed nations in the world is not because we're smart. It's not because we're intelligent. It's because the founders of this country dedicated it to the one true God. It's in the Declaration of Independence. It's on the coins. It's written. They dedicated it to God. That's why it's the most prosperous. But now Satan is trying to take God out of everything. When you take God out of something, you lose the protection. They've taken down the Ten Commandments because that's not politically correct. They've taken that prayer out of school. That's what Satan is doing. Okay? But look, I just want to testify. Let me make sure this is still recording. I want to leave artifacts on this earth, whether it's on my channel, whether it's on my books, whether it's on my notes, before I go to heaven. God has been so good to me. I have sinned. I have broken promises. I have done God wrong. I have done wicked things. And the Lord has forgiven me over and over he has blessed me over and over and he still allows me to grow. He still allows me to elevate because there is no stopping in him. He doesn't punish us because we mess up. Yes, sin will always affect you. Not because God's punishing you, but he doesn't deal with sin. Sin is a no-no. But his infinite love, I have tasted it. I have experienced his goodness on a supernatural, eternal level. Not on a physical base because of, well, he gave me this, this happened. He allowed, no, God has been so good to me. I love God so much. I can feel his love, the experiences he allows me to have, the glory and the wisdom and the knowledge, the supernatural things that just chase me down, the power that he gives me. Once you gain this, you'll be good for the rest of your life. Just like I like those kind of accomplishments. Just if you get a high school diploma, for the rest of your one life on this earth, you'll never have to worry about going to high school again. That will be something credible that will always be there. College. So when you receive Jesus for all eternity, you'll be good when you pursue him. All right? Now I'm just going to pray. And I'm going to impart some to you. Receive it. Because when I impart, if you receive it, it's going to be yours. Lord God, I lift up myself. I lift up the viewer. I lift up this time. And I lift up this season. I lift up this day, this reign, and this era. And for your name and for your word and for your victory and for your glory. Whatever comes forth out of my mouth, let it be so. 
I speak blessings upon our life. In this connection, I speak the power of God, a new level of creativity, a new level of health, a new understanding and comprehension, a new dimension of thinking. Every demon and every curse understanding on how to break it, let that person begin to do so. Let a supernatural church with power, supernatural people with power, surround them. Let the truth be in them. Let every demon and every satanic cause that has come against them be immediately broken. Angels of the living God, heed unto my word. Every person that has been hindered, stopped, broken down. I want you to take that old spirit and that old serpent and cut it up into pieces and throw it off of their life. And I impart everything that I have, the tra transaction, I impart it to you for it to transfer unto you the wisdom, the knowledge, the power, the enlightenment, the beauty, the victory of Jesus Christ. Only in Christ Jesus do we have victory. Only in Christ Jesus can you see God. Only in Christ Jesus can you enter the kingdom of heaven. Only what Jesus did on the cross can you be accounted worthy to enter the kingdom. All right? So know that. I bless you. I thank you. I love you. I'm out. All right, now look, I'm going to show you how to make it the right way. Put the hot water in there. Not too much, and you want to get a small cup just to make sure you drink it all. Sometimes I do big cups and I just waste it. I don't like wasting things. All right, now you put them in there. Try to leave the thing out so you can grab it when it's done. Okay, and you just let them sit in there for five minutes. Do not add any of the stevia, the lemon, or anything. Let them sit by themselves and let them stir and let them just, just integrate within that water and just let it not dissolve, but let it just capture every little detail of all the glory and splendor. Let it just become one with the water and let it manifest in there, okay? Don't be touching the hot water, okay? It's hot. I'm not showing you the right way right now, but just do what I'm doing, okay? Let it sit for about five to seven minutes. All right, I'm going to be mixing a Royabus tea and a black tea. No sugar, stevia. We're going to be cutting up half a lemon in raw and unfiltered honey. Let me give you a tip. I am going to get a glass one. Do not drink out of tin metal cans. That metal in that tin, it deposits into your liver and it destroys you. All right, we'll start that and I shall return. I don't have a cameraman. I'm the cameraman. In Jesus' name. You got to get you a Nutribullet, a blender. You find out the superfoods. You begin to buy you a juice. Look, let's keep it simple. Buy you a juicer. Buy you a Nutribullet. Get you a mini refrigerator. Begin to put tonics, infused waters, Multi things like an alchemist. What I love about a blender and a Nutribullet, you can take beets, you can take vegetables, you can take kale, one of the most amazing superfoods on earth. And you can combine it into a formula of power. You infuse water. I cut up apples and especially oranges and lemon. Drink plenty of lemon water. I have apple cider vinegar. I drink that pure, but don't take two big shots because it'll hurt you. It'll give you a kickback when you drink that. When you take a big shot of that, you're going to be in the spirit. Take a little shot in the morning and a little at night time, okay? Let me tell you the secret of water. I can get me a plastic cup of water, fill it up to the top. I will not drink half of it all day, but when I get glass, glass and water and put it in the freezer until it's got crystals in it and put lemon in it, I can drink two of these in, in four to five hours, okay? And do hot teas. Hold on, I'm trying to, I'm trying, I'm trying to teach y'all something. I'm trying, I don't, I'm not here to inspire. No, see, inspiration is temporary. Getting motivated is is temporary. You know what I'm saying? Pushing somebody's, but when you when you tell somebody straight from the throne room of God, the life, the existence, you give them the proof, you show them the way, that's eternally changed. I'm here, I'm here to for some permanent breakthroughs, some permanent activations, so you'll never be the same. In Jesus' name. My angels, sugar puts holes in your brain. Soda sucks the phosphorus out of your bones. 
You know the pyramid on the dollar? You remember in Hitler? He put fluoride in the water to dumb them down. So they couldn't fight, so they couldn't get up, so their mind couldn't think. That's what fluoride does. The aluminum in your deodorant that you put on your skin goes into your lymph nodes and gives you cancer of the skin. Don't do sugar. Do stevia. Don't do salt. Do Himalayan salt.